Okay, this is Adam Parsley with Parsley Equipment. We're gonna be looking at the Cameron XH42 and just kind of doing a basic overview of the hydraulic system. We've taken several of the panels off to make it easier and we'll basically start here on the left side of the motor with our pump. Over here we got our tank. Here on the right side of this whole system is our oil cooler. It's sort of married together with the radiator. Splits about a quarter of that for the oil cooler. We'll go into more detail on this, but basically we've got our main valve stack, all of our main lines going to the functions. These small lines are pilot control lines, which are basically every function on the machine are pilot controlled. We've got a block here with two solenoids we'll go over what that is our pressure relief valve and adjustment is down here it's tucked back there in the back we've got a pressure valve here for the pilot control system and now we'll dive into this a little bit deeper and uh, try to trace some of these lines so you see where they're going and what their function is okay so we got our hydraulic tank here coming out of the oil cooler into the top. Right here with the hose clamps, that's coming off the bottom of the tank, and that runs back to, to the pump right here, up to the bottom side of the pump. And the oil cooler itself is fed from this pipe through here, and from the bottom side of our main valve stack. The main pressure line coming off the top of the pump goes here into the bottom side of the valve. Okay, this line right here coming off the pump goes right here back into the tank. So that would be your case drain from your pump. This line right here that comes off the pump goes up here on top of the valve. So our line coming out of the top on the right is going to be our main supply in the middle to our eddy swing motor. Okay, and our outlet here runs back to the tank to right here. Okay, so as mentioned, our center line here is our uh, extra feed from the pump basically. And then this line and this line are coming from the valve uh, that are pilot controlled to rotate the cab clockwise and counterclockwise. The dump coming off of here is going back to the tank and it's also picking up the dump from the rotary union. And then we got a pressure coming out that feeds this auxiliary block with a couple solenoids on it. And this would be the return from the block back to the tank. Okay, and these two are your main two solenoids. Um, this electric is tied into your disconnect arm um, so when that is up, nothing on the machine functions and it all flows through here. So with these connectors in, you got two lines that come out. The A1 line, the A1 flows to this block, which feeds pilot flow source. Basically you got the two lines here that run to your right pedal, the two lines here that run to your track levers. These lines run up to your right joystick. Some of these lines run up to your left joystick. So this valve here that just came from the solenoid, this is all part of the pilot control system. When that solenoid is off, you won't get any pilot control flow. So our main inlets here, we got lines that run to our different functions. And right here, we've got our outlet back to the tank here. Okay, so the A2 solenoid line runs down in here to the rotary union, and that is your high speed line for your two speed mode. Okay, so looking on our valve block here, um, our top side was our extra flow from the pump to the swing motor. Next block down is your bucket, and then your stick, then you have your boom and your thumb. Next one down is your side swing, and then your swing motor, and then 
these three all go to the rotary union so i can't really tell which one are your tracks and which one are your blade because they all go to the same rotary inside the cab and once again this is what i'm calling the rotary union there may be other names for it but basically uh, it's your pivot device that allows your fluid to flow in the top and allow the cab to spin and you have um, fluid coming out the bottom going to your tracks and to your blade be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and uh, for all information about Kimron equipment you can check out parsleyequipment.com mm -hmm.